Hi everyone, I'm going to show you how I made this little notebook cover um, and uh, if you want to know how I made it, keep watching. So, let me take everything out of it first of all. And I'll show you a trick with the elastic so that you can put more books in. Let me just get them out first of all. Do -do. This can come out anyway because this is a pen in the bomb. Right, okay. So, what you're going to need for this is you're going to need a piece of faux leather. Um, this measures six inches by eight and two thirds or eight and three quarters. If you want to know that in centimetres, it is approximately 15 centimetres by 22.5. Um, so if it's 15 centimetres by 22 centimetres, it should be fine. Um, and you need two pieces. I had this faux leather from a shop not too far from me that does offcuts and basically recycles leftovers from industry so this was some faux leather that's been used on furniture or bags or whatever and these were the scraps that were left over and I got like a big bag for about a fiver um, you should be able to find shops that will do um, offcuts and or just go to like a fabric shop or you know stuff like that I'm not going to tell you the specific one I go to because literally I live down the road from it so I'm not going to tell you but anyway got my two pieces of faux leather and I've got one that's where it's got the smooth side up and then the other one has got the soft side up the fluffy side um, and then I placed them together and then sewed with my sewing machine all the way around the edge actually this one's this one I hand stitch sorry uh, but normally what I do is I sew with the sewing machine all the way around so on the inside it's soft and fluffy on the outside it's the shiny side and this gives it a bit of thickness now this stuff that I used is quite thin and floppy if you can get a leather that's a little bit stiffer like a fake leather obviously if you can get one that's a bit stiffer even better um, or place some card in between just to give it a bit of stiffness just thin card though um, and just have it so it's slightly smaller than the edges and just like glue it onto the back of the outside layer and then glue this one on and then sew around the edges it just stiffens it a bit I didn't because I like the soft cover feel I like how it squishes and molds this into shape so I'm not too bothered with that then at the middle you need to punch a hole through with an awl, which is like a big spiky thing that you punch, punch holes in leather with, or just very carefully slit it a little bit with a craft knife. And you need to get a loop of elastic like this. And it has a knot at one end. And all you do is you thread the loop through the hole and pull it through. That gives you your elastic to close your book and keep it closed. Obviously make sure the loop is big enough to go around the um, outside without being too tight because you don't want it to damage the outside. And then for this bit what you do is you take a really long piece of elastic and thread it through two holes you make here and two holes you make here. So basically one end went through two holes there, the other end went through two holes there and then where it meets in the middle tie it together and take off the excess now I could have done with doing this maybe so it would have been a bit tighter but obviously it does pull down on the cover but never mind and then all you do is you take these little cheap notebooks these these are some little cheap notebooks I picked up like in packs of like I think they're in like packs of three or four of them um, well there you go it's got to be three because this was a pack of three and they're just three little notebooks and very small, like little hand pocket sized notebooks. And they are 12 by nine centimeters. So nine centimeters across, 12 centimeters high. If you get this size, it will fit this size perfectly. 
if you've done a different size cover, then you, you just get a different size book that would fit inside. Basically, the notebook you pick, if you place it inside the middle of the fabric, you want there to be about a centimetre or two gap all the way around. So it covers the notebook completely. And then to put your, to put your notebooks in, just find the middle and loop them through the elastic. Now, obviously, my elastic's a bit loose because I've used this a lot and I've had lots of books in there. And you, if you're just doing basic where you just have two little notebooks, just put one on one elastic, one on the other. And there you go. You've got a couple of notebooks and a cover. And away you go. Like so. Mine, however, I've had it where I've had more notebooks in. So my elastics are a bit looser. And what you do is you take your notebooks, open them up halfway, place them together like this, and then use the elastic to loop them together and close the books, and you have elastic going through the two. And then what you do is you put one whole book through the elastic like this, so it goes into the middle where the elastic is joining the two books, and then that's how you hold two books together inside instead of just the one on one side and then it's just a case of adding more books so I had another pairing that I added here and I'll figure out where that other one went in a minute so again just joining my two books together with a piece of elastic like so close the books and pull them apart thread the first book through and now it holds four notebooks instead of two. And then this one, what I normally do is I just slot it in somewhere. So you can see the elastic between the two books that holds them into the cover. And I just stick my other book through here. That way I've got three books on one side of the elastic, like so. And then I've got two books on the other. And then you can also make something like this. This is a little plastic wallet. Um, if you look, it's like a little card wallet thing. So normally you'd put your card in and then you could pull it out. I've just put a selection of stickers in here and then folded it in, in half like so. Ooh, and I've got them stuck now. So I fold it in half like so. So obviously I've got some stickers to hand. And then I just... Place that around the bunch of notebooks at the back. You can do it with washi tape as well. If you want a selection of washi tapes, you can carry around with you to decorate your notebook. And all you do is you get a piece of uh, card and cover it completely in sellotape, first of all, so it's shiny. Or use a piece of um, laminated card. Cut it to the size you need for your notebook and then you can stick your washi tapes on it. And I can't get the ends. Come on. And this enables you to stick some washi tape to the card. It doesn't. It sticks to there to hold it in place, but it doesn't get rid of the sticky off the uh, washi tape. So then I can use this washi tape to decorate my notes as I go along. So I've got a little selection of my favourite washi tape. And again, I'm just going to slot that in like so. So then in here, I've got two notebooks at the front. Um, some stickers, if I want to give the kids stickers, some washi tapes, and some more notebooks or sketchbooks at the back. And then all I have to do is close it all up, like so. And tuck everybody in. Hold on. Why are you not sitting properly? And then tuck everybody in and fasten it shut. That way I get to carry around with me uh, five notebooks and some stickers all in one nice little case. Hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching. A um, couple of tips though. Um, if you're using leather that's quite thick, you're probably going to have to punch holes in it with an awl by hand and sew it by hand. You'll wreck your sewing machine. Um, if it's quite thin like this, I've been able to use my sewing machine with it, but obviously I can't guarantee you'll be able to use yours. So obviously use, use your sewing machine at your own risk. Um, if you've got a sewing machine that will sew denim, um, you should be all right. But obviously, again, check first, 
you, use your sewing machine at your own risk. If you're not sure and you don't want to trash your machine, sew it by hand. These quite thin ones are easy enough to sew by hand, but if you use thicker leather, you're going to have to punch holes in the leather first, which requires getting like a spiky wheel tool or an awl and poking holes through and then sewing it together. Um, I'm quite lazy, so I just sewed the two pieces together with my sewing machine and used quite thin faux leather. Um, this is just like that PVC stuff, but it's not shiny, it's a matte version. And then just to finish off the design, what I did is I took this badge, which um, it's a brooch, obviously a Hunger Games brooch with the Mockingjay on, and the pin had snapped off the back, but I did still quite like the brooch, so I sewed it to the fabric on the front, just with a stitch here and there. I got about four different areas, I stitched it. Um, and that's it, that's my notebook, and that's how to make your own little notebook cover to carry around in your bag. Hope you found this video useful, thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.